Well, President Biden and Democrats say they want to do something about it. There's going to be a vote in the United States Senate on Thursday. Republicans got to get to 60 in the Senate. Republicans in the Senate say they have no interest in Democratic plans. One of them, Senator Ron Johnson, Republican of Wisconsin, member of Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee. Senator, it is good to see you. Thank you. I'm going to play for you right now Chuck Schumer, the Democratic majority leader in the Senate, with his thoughts. Take a listen. We will try to do something again our Republican colleagues have long claimed to have desperately wanted, securing our southern border. This Thursday, the Senate will vote on the bipartisan border bill. All those who say we need to act on the border will get a chance to act, show this week that they're serious about fixing the problem. They'll get a chance to show whether they're just talking points to them or whether they want to improve the status quo. Hmm. Is there a reason he's wrong, Senator? Yeah, that bill would have been worse than doing nothing. The quote you should have had from Schumer was after it failed, same bill failed in February, he said, we were playing chess, they were playing checkers, and we got our Ukraine bill. They went on to say, and we're in a lot better shape on the border than we were three months ago. So first of all, if you're in, entering good faith negotiation, you wouldn't rub your negotiating partner's nose in its failure. And if he was serious about securing the border, he wouldn't be saying we're in better shape. All he was looking for was political cover. When Democrats say they want to secure the border, what they're talking about is they want to more efficiently encounter, process, and disperse illegal immigrants that have no valid asylum claim throughout America. That's what they've been doing for the last three years. They want an open border. They cause this problem. And the last point I'll make is President Biden has the authority. President Trump had the okay. authority, and he closed the border. President Biden used that exact same authority, and he opened it up. So he has the authority to secure the border. He just doesn't want to. If he wants strength and authority, Republicans would be more than happy to do it. But this bill actually reduces the authority by setting a 4,000 migrant threshold to give him the discretion. So that would imply the president doesn't have the authority. That would codify that he doesn't have the authority. And then they take it away after th three years which is why I say passing that bill would have been worse than doing I, I, nothing. I completely Democrats understand all the problems you have border. with this bill. And I think reasonable people can agree um, that it doesn't go all the way to securing the border. Some people have said that it goes far enough. This would be my question, though. Uh, Republicans in 2017 had the White House with Donald Trump. They had the House. They had the Senate and still couldn't get any kind of meaningful immigration reform. It seems as though... Republicans' argument is elect Donald Trump so he can go ahead with executive orders that are just going to get challenged again in the courts. That, Leland, that is because Democrats don't want to secure the border. They want an open border. And so they wouldn't pass a tough border security bill, uh, happy to pass some kind of immigration bill and you know, provide amnesty to DACA recipients without securing the border. You know, President Trump, again, using the authority he has secured the border. He took, he went from his peak of about 5,000 people a day. Again, that was, that was all caused by the lawless DACA orders. That's what's been causing this crisis. But just sheer willpower. Remain in Mexico, safe third country, some other things. He secured the border in 12 months. President Look, Biden, you're 100 percent. You are 100 percent right that once everything came up. in, you ended up, once all of the Trump executive orders took effect, it slowed to a trickle. You're 100 percent correct right. about that. And I and I will I will give you the last word here, though. Government is about compromise, right? And if Republicans want meaningful change that isn't going to just change with the next administration four years after uh, four years from now when Donald Trump leaves office, aren't you guys going to have to compromise with Democrats and come up with some kind of bill that's not perfect? It's not exactly what you want. But I think we would have if we would have kept the border secure. I was working with the Trump administration. We had a really good legal immigration bill. Would have taken care of DACA. But again, we never got to that point because Trump didn't uh, win re-election and then Biden opened up the border. Again, Democrats don't want a secure border. They opened up. They opened it up. They caused this problem. So you can't negotiate with, with them in good faith. Again, go back to Schumer's quote. There were playing checkers. They were they were no, we're playing chess, they're playing checkers, and we got what we wanted, the Ukraine bill. So again, right. he's not serious. All they wanted was political cover, and unfortunately, McConnell gave it to him.
Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.